Hey everyone, got to talk PPE with you. Um, resin, evil stuff. Now, I'm getting really fed up of being absolutely laid into by people for not using the proper PPE. I don't quite know what I'm supposed to use other than go for a full hazmat suit. Anyway, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to remind all of you uh, about safety. These are the basics that I use. Firstly, well ventilated room. Secondly, extractor fan. Now that could even be as simple as turning an ordinary household fan and pointing it out of that window that you've got open. But for me, several fans, windows open throughout the whole upstairs of my house, fans blowing straight through, um, shorter going for industrial proper extractor fans, which is difficult in a small domestic house. That seems to work, okay? Now, in addition to that, if I'm using resin, before I get the resin out, I don some nitrile gloves. Now, these are the purple ones that I use, or I, I use all pretty colours. Um, I have a friend who's a chemical compliance expert, and uh, he tells me nitrile are the ones to use. They need to be the right sort of strength as well, because you can get some really thin, flimsy ones. These are a kind of medium, I think. Um, I find they work very, very well and they come in pretty colours too, which is nice. So always put those on and I'll show you how to put take them off again afterwards in a moment. Right, next things you're going to be needing. I went for a two-part mask because um, I just find that easier to work with. Originally, I just had the respirator, um, which is a 3M one. I do favour their products because they are pretty much the experts on these things. So proper respirator. And these are the cartridges that fit onto the side. Make sure they're fitted firmly on. Now, when you've got your respirator on, put your hand over the end and suck and blow. And if this, this whole thing sort of moves in and out from your face and there's no air getting in and out, then you've got it on properly. So make sure all these bits are done up firmly. They're all adjustable to make sure it's fitting nicely to your face. It's not the most pleasant and comfortable thing, but you do get used to it. And better that than kill your lungs. Because if you damage your lungs, there's a good chance it'll be permanent. You don't want that. Okay, so make sure you've got the right fittings to go on the end. I'm told these are the ones for chemicals. Again, 3M, they fit straight on, no problem. Replace them regularly. Now, little tip for you as well. If you can smell the resin, please don't ask me what the resin smells like. People have said, is that low odour? No idea. I can only tell you what it says on the bottle. Um, because if you can smell it, then either these need replacing or you haven't got your mask on properly. You should not be able to smell it. Now, I take that off when I leave the room and I shut the door, leaving the windows open and the fans going. And I stay out of the room until it's time to check on the resin when I pop my mask back on. And then again, I go back out of the room, shut the door. Now, remember, when you are your resin is cured and you demould it, if it's a bit soft still, or in fact, within 24 hours, you probably still should be wearing gloves. Maybe longer if it's a slow cure resin like a deep pour, because it can still be giving off those chemicals. I always go and wash my hands afterwards as well, and generally I'll jump in the shower too. I know that sounds a bit excessive, but I've had one nasty incident with only one type of resin. Um, I can't even be in the same house as it. So I am very, very careful. Okay, so that's some tips for you. Now your goggles, as I said, I went for two separate pieces here. Um, the goggles, you can get them as all, you know, the goggles and the respirator all as one. Some people prefer that. I prefer these. Um, I got these after anyway, because I didn't think about protecting my eyes till I had my nasty incident. Um, so now I have goggles and same again, make sure they fit properly. If you're doing a separate two-parter like these, um, then, you know, get the same brand because then you know that they're going to fit together properly like so. And that will that will keep you nice and safe behind there. So not just safety goggles, the sort of glasses that, you know, stop dust getting in your eyes and sparks and things. And with the mask, not just a dust mask or one of those masks we had during COVID. You need to completely block the chemicals out. Get some proper ones. Now, some of these have got ventilation holes in to, to let air in so that you can... Um, you know, so you don't steam up and things like that. No good at all. You've got to have the solid ones. So your best tip is to have your room fairly warm so you don't get steaming up. That's those. Now, back to the gloves. This is how you put, you know how to put them on. That's the easy bit. Get ones that fit pretty well. 
um these are i think these are medium are these mediums yeah they're slightly too big on me because i found the, the small ones fit better but they're a bit harder to get on and off don't have huge baggy ones because you know you're going to get stuff down the back of here um that's more than baggy enough i have seen some people put bands around here and some people cover their arms up as well that's a good idea i don't generally find i need to but um it is a good idea so i would suggest it cover yourself up aprons are good too cover everything long sleeves uh, just long sleeves make a difference now um but i don't because i hate long sleeves so uh, but so far touch wood i haven't had a rash up here since i stopped using that one resin that i'm allergic to i have to say that one resin i found out what the component part was the rest of their resin range and everything else they do thoroughly recommend i won't go into which brand that is anyway we, we react to different things so just because i'm allergic to it doesn't mean that you will be but whatever resins you are using go the whole shooting match I think with things like UV resin um, and the eco pores and things like that, there's not such a risk because they are generally safer, but still gloves. And with the eco pore type resins, uh, Aquacast, Jessamonite, all those sort of things, you know, the resin alternatives, do wear at least a dust mask because there's, no matter how, you know, uh, non-toxic they are, you still don't want dust in your lungs that shouldn't be, so... Don't forget that that's a good idea. And UV resin, I know if you get it on your hands, I've done this so many times because I, I don't tend to bother with gloves half the time with UV. If you get it on your hands and then it cures on your hands, oh my God, it burns. So be careful. Right, this is how to take your gloves off. This is a tip, especially from the my chemical expert. He was the one who told me how to test that your mask was fitted properly as well. Right, your first glove, easy. First of all, You've still got your respirator on because you've got resin on your on your hands so you don't want to be touching your face or anything uh, if there's resin in, on your gloves even if it's just the odor of the resin you know the um, gases from it so gloves off first and the way to do this then is don't do that don't do that what you do is you grab them here because then you're not touching your skin with a contaminated glove so you pull it away like that and you see how that's gone inside out now hold that in your other hand and now this is where you're running a risk so be very careful but go inside so you're not touching the contaminated surface and then you turn it through inside out and you'll see that what you've done is you've scooped all the contaminated surfaces up inside and they're all wrapped up safely like so straighten the bin do not reuse them i've heard um some resin artists including really well-known ones obviously these are clean so i will um including really well-known ones saying oh save some money clean your gloves and reuse them don't they start degrading as soon as you've used them so do not use them again ever okay now when you just put them on just to show people like this don't worry about it that's fine i shall certainly be reusing these and taking them off all the wrong way um but do not reuse them once they've been in contact with any chemicals at all do not reuse them notice it says on the packet these are actually examination gloves so they're a decent strength but single use they say that for a reason now i'm sure in the small print here this is so small i'd need a magnifying glass but single use it says that all over only use them once i'm sure it says that probably says that in here but you know without my glasses and a magnifying glass i'm not going to see that latex free um a lot of people are allergic to latex um so these are latex free as well so they're safe 1.5 is the um, strength i believe um, that's good enough for resin but have a look at your packaging with your resin there will be a load of safety information they all come with safety information if you want a lot more detail you can either go on the website and find or you can email and request the full safety data sheet i've done that for all of the brands that i use and had my expert look at them now it's gibberish to me don't ask me any chemicals don't ask me what they mean don't ask me the names don't ask me what's dangerous but bear in mind that a lot of resins the two when it says they're not not dangerous on the data sheet the two parts separately may not be but once you combine them suddenly you've got a new compound that may well be a totally different ball game which they're not obliged to necessarily put on the data sheet um 
and frankly, probably shouldn't need to because you should be taking the safety precautions that they recommend, which is pretty much as I've just told you. So there we go. Quick summary. Use your gloves once. Careful how you take them off and put them on. Take them off um, before you take your mask off because then you've got clean hands to take your mask off. Can I suggest that you go out of the room to do all of this because then you're not getting the chemicals on your face that may still be wafting around in the room despite having used a really nicely well ventilated room. No matter how cold it is outside, have those windows open, have fans going or have industrial extractor fans going. And goggles, get some proper ones, not ones with ventilation um, in them. Get your masks, make sure you get the right filters for them. Make sure that they say they are specifically for chemicals. Can I recommend the 3M gear? It's not expensive. I forget what this lot costs, but I'll put you the links below. It is not silly money. Put your health and safety first. You will be using resin for years to come. Below, there will be a load of links. Um, there will be links for all this stuff. There will be links for my gloves. And there will also be a link to probably the best resin safety video advice I have ever seen. And it absolutely complies with what my chemical compliance friend um, has uh, told me to so it's a really good video I'll put you a link to that I will also put you a link to the video which was the one that made me realize I actually need goggles too um, and that I was allergic to particularly to one type of resin if it's even in the house a week after it's cured I will still react to it so I'll link that too don't let it scare you because all this and working out which resin it wasn't just not using that one and using everything else sorted no problem so I don't want to scare you um, so yes, there'll be links to all of this down below and anything else that I think you will find useful. So um, I'll take off all the rest of the other links and things that I have below my videos because I want you to be able to focus on this lot. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Resin craft is an amazing thing. You know how much I love it and I know you do too. Um, I just want you to be safe. And I also want people to stop yelling at me for not using PPE. Here it is, people. <laughs> So there you go. Protect yourself as best you can. Be safe out there, people. You know it makes sense. Your health is the most important thing you will ever have. Take care all. I hope you take this video in the spirit that it's intended. Um, I do worry about everyone. And uh, yeah. Happy crafting, everyone. <laughs>